Hello. It's time for a bit more fun with IDE drives. So, those of you from the UK or from Europe probably recognise this machine. It is an Amstrad PCW8256, which was marketed as a cheap word processor by Amstrad in the UK and in Europe under the Schneider brand. Now, although this machine is marketed as a, a word processor and came with quite an easy-to-use word processing package, it also runs CPM. And every machine had a CPM disk, CPM Plus actually, so it's CPM3. Now, one of the problems with this machine is that it uses these three-inch disk drives, which uh, are a little bit kind of non-standard or not particularly well known in the in the wider world of computing. And um, I'd like to connect an RDE drive to it and run it as if it had a hard disk. So here's my solution, or at least the prototype. Um, at the back of the machine, you have a 50-way edge connector. And what I've done is I've plugged um, a 50-way edge connector, a ribbon, ribbon cable going into a 50-way IDC plug, which is here. I'll try and show it to you without it uh, falling off the back of the machine. Um, and all of this, all this board is, is a kind of adapter. It's just a bit of prototyping strip board, and I've soldered in um, a box header, a 50-way IDE. C box header into which is plugged my cable and then there's a row of pins on either side you can see there and I can just use jumper cables to wire it into this board now this board this board was designed as an IDE interface for the TRS-80 uh, model 4 and the model 2 and uh, it's a very very simple straightforward design and what I'm doing here is I'm um, using my jumper cables to connect the I.O. port from the back of the PCW into the corresponding connections in the TRS-80's port scheme, or its connection scheme. And this really amounts to um, the first eight address lines, A0 to A7, and all eight data lines, D0 to D7, and some control lines. Um, in particular, we want the IO, re, uh, IO request and we want um, WR and, and RD, the read and write signals from the Z80. So all this is doing is a little bit of address decoding so that it can set the enable for the IDE card, which is plugged into this little adapter. Now on our IDE card, we have, as per normal, We've got a power light, we've got an IDE detect, and the little yellow LED in the middle, that's the activity light, and that's the one that we need to keep an eye on, because it'll tell us that something's happening. So, having debugged this little situation, I now um, have written a short basic program, which I will show you running. Oops, I'm going to have to turn this off. And what this program does is it checks the status of the card, and then it issues... A right sector with some information, some data, some text data, and then shortly after that, it issues a read sector. And what we're looking for is for the data coming back from the read sector command to be the same as what we've written. Be nice if this thing actually booted up. <laughs> Hang on. 